What's up everybody, Bo Hala here. Um, gonna be doing a, another unboxing. Um, I know it's just been a lot of unboxing stuff lately, but I'm in the process of trying to also transfer over my automotive stuff to this channel, uh, to my automotive channel, which actually is perfect for the unboxing I'm doing today. Um, because it's not Power Rangers, it's not Jordans, you know, it's not fandom stuff in a sense. It's not collectibles or anything like that. But it's a... Two different products that I got that are handheld products for vehicles, and from what I understand, these work very well, and these are like must-haves, and they're really not that expensive. They're about a hundred bucks a piece on Amazon. Amazon has like some sales going on with them, so I think this I ended up paying like eighty or ninety, and this is normally a hundred and fifty or something like that. I think I paid like one hundred and twenty, but yeah. So these are for vehicles. They're all and. Then, this one right here, we'll start off with this one. This is a portable charger. Open up the box. Oh, it's a box inside of a box, okay. So the, the company of this, they're both the same company, uh, Fantic, which I've seen other automotive YouTubers talk about it, and but they were sponsored. This video, uh, video is not sponsored at all. So, speaking of that, once you hit that like button here and then smash that subscribe button there, uh, help me become a real YouTube channel and maybe one day get sponsors. But this is sponsored by myself in a sense, inside of my own pocket. Their fan take is not paying me. Did they not? They did not supply me with the product or anything like that. So this is 100% on me. So please hit that like and subscribe button. All right, so this is the Fantech T8 Apex. This is a portable, like, better jumper. Jumper cables, uh, jump box, whatever you want to call it. So, right off the bat, opening up the box. Let's see if I can, like, maybe... Oh, there we go. have a little bit of real estate down here for y'all to see. So, first it comes with this... Fancy card, boom, you're beast up. So, put that card off the side. So, here we go. This is the main component. So, it's got a light on it. It's got where it can charge. It's got USB and USB C down here. I just open that up. So, if you can see that, you got the US. B and the USB C right there. That's they're both in and out. Or well, the C is. So you can use it to charge phones and stuff like that. The USB A, which is a big one obviously, is an out at five and nine volts. That's also how you charge it too, is the USB C. Um, over here is where we got to where you connect the jumper cables. Right there. Alright. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Your car, your car battery is low voltage below 8 volts. Fully charged before first use. Press the power button and the LED button. Press the power button and the LED button on the jumper, of the jumper to start. On of the jumper starter simultaneously for 3 seconds to force. Ugh. To force start your car. That's interesting. So, all right. So turn it on. It comes with 80% already. So I honestly don't see why. Ooh, wow. That light's actually pretty bright. Do not turn it on when you learn. You just turn it, and it flashes. SOS. All right. It's got red. Nice. So this is actually a really great item just to keep in your daily anyways, um, for emergency purposes. If something happens on the road, you got flashlight, you got emergency light, um, phone charger, so on and so forth. So that's a plus. Let's go ahead and open up the box a little more. Wow, that light was bright. Bright light. Okay, so we got one little box here. Let's see what's in this little bitty box. Ah, so this one has, looks like a carrying bag. It looks like it has 
a C to C cable and a A to C cable, so that's great. That on bag has your fancy little booklet. So we'll put that back in there. So yeah, this I, I mainly bought this because like uh, for my Corvette, I have an older Corvette that I don't really touch much at all. It's mainly a show car for the most part. Um, when it's nice outside, I tend to drive it more often, just for like run a quick errand or whatever. All right, but for the most part, it sits, and I don't have a way to put a tender on it. So the battery usually dies after months. But I purposely let the battery die on it this time. I turned it on and had it running. Because that's how I'm going to test this device. Alright, so I'm going to put that stuff back in there. What is this? Okay, so this is a house charger for USB-C. Pretty hefty. Uh, 60, ooh, 65 watts. Nice. Alright. So I need to find a place to plug this in. Uh, plug it in right over here next to the fridge. Okay. Because when I go open up and open the other device, I'm gonna try to charge it a little bit and kind of get an idea how quick it charges. So here is the USB, not the USB, the jumper cables. It obviously plugs in on the jumper cable side where the lights are. It's kind of easy to get it right you got a circle and you got like the, the home plate looking one so you just match it up and where it says plugged that's on top you just plug it in and obviously red is positive black is negative you put them on the battery and they say to jump start you press and hold the power button right here and then the light button on the side at the same time for three seconds yeah for three seconds and it will I guess push the juice needed to jump start the car. Uh, attach clamps, press power for two seconds. See, this says different. Ready to go. It'll say start 12 volt and then start vehicle. Okay. So, yeah, so it has like some instructions right there on the back where it says start up. Ugh. Attach the clamps. Press the button. So, yeah. So, we got that. We'll go ahead and like kind of pack this stuff back up real quick and I'm gonna attempt to charge it some because since it says to like fully charge it before you use blah 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 so set this stuff off the side I need my C to C cable and I have plenty of C to C cables but I am going to use the one that it came with just to be in a sense on the safe side because I don't want to use like a cable that I have that I use for like phones and other devices for this and not be good enough. So I'm gonna do my best to match it up. You know C to C. Oh well, it doesn't matter, it has the little K on both sides. So plug it in there. So it was at 80%. See 80%. So we'll see how quick it charges. Try to get an idea. Alright, so next item. Also by Fantech, this is the eight, uh, X8, uh, I don't know what my knife is, Apex. This is an air inflator. i move the bag out the way. Alright, I don't need that no more. Wow, I literally just broke this mechanical pencil on cheap plastic. Alright. So again, hit that like and subscribe button. That way I can try to find more of these affordable, in my opinion this is affordable, um, for the what it does and the capabilities and the fact that they're portable and you charge them just like a phone or a tablet. 100 bucks, I mean, very, very uh, price affordable. But if you wanted to keep me doing this stuff, um, both for vehicles, for computers, for gaming, uh, devices so on and so forth uh, hit that like and subscribe button this video will be on both channels uh, so it won't just be on the main channel it'll also be on the uh, automotive channel so if you're subscribed to the automotive channel 
subscribe to the main channel if you subscribe to the main channel if you want to subscribe to auto channel eventually I will have them separate again all right so another box inside the box all right pumped for the journey so we have the Fantech 8x apex air inflator uh, 150 pounds uh, was it pounds per square inch yeah 150 pounds per square inch I have pumped for the journey Okay, blah, 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 air tube, it comes with the bag. It says it can do a basketball or like a ball like 50 plus times, a bike 26 plus times, a motorcycle 20 or 13 plus times, but they have a moped for the motorcycle. A uh, car four to six times, so that's interesting. That's on a full charge. All right leave it over there so vice is really not that big it's about the size of a, of a bluetooth speaker in a sense so i got this mainly because you know i don't have an air compressor here at home so oh and i remember the first time i rode the bike this year after it said for the winter the tires were low and i had to like ride it all the way to a gas station and had issues with it taking my card and then I had to go get chained. Yeah, it was a process. But this, it's great because I just go outside and grab it and just, I have my own little air pump. My car comes with one in the trunk, but then I got to unscrew it and everything. I got to pull that long DC cigarette lighter plug out. So if this works, this is great. All right, so just looking at it. Like I said, it looks, and it's about the same size as a Bluetooth speaker. And it's got your USB out, so it also charges stuff too. USB in. Uh, keep USB ports clean. Got it. So we got that. What else we got in here? Yeah. Alright. So this looks like this has everything in it. Ah, there's the tube very flexible tube obviously the only flex point right here let's see the flex is minimized to about right here so depending on what you're using um, I know bicycles and motorcycles sometimes where the um, uh, you know the the stint where you air up your tire I can't even think of it right now Sometimes on bicycles and motorcycles and mopeds for some people, um, they have it to where it's very limited on how much room you have. So keep that in mind. That's about what an inch and a half, two inches, eh, close to about two inches. So you have this cable, and obviously it screws right up in here. Screws in very easily. Okay. So this box is empty now. Yep, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide this back in. So it looks like, what do we have here? Ah, okay. So it looks like we have some adapters. I'm not sure what the adapters are. I bet they talk about it in the book a little bit. But we got some adapters here. This is obviously for like a basketball. This is the one I'm not hundred percent sure about. All right. We have our USB cable. So this one did not come with a charger. Yeah, so it comes with the hose, charge the cable, the basketball, and the other adapter, and the user manual. I wonder if they'll tell me what those pieces are real quick. Alright. Okay. Um, Charader? It's a valve adapter of some sort. A Presta valve adapter? Schrader Presta valve adapter? Oh. Uh, I guess if you have fancy vehicles. Okay. 
Okay, you just charge it with any block. Question adapter. I guess it depends on the type of valve. Interesting. Okay. So yeah, that's a special adapter. Alright, so put that in there. Let's turn it on. Alright, so turning it on. It is half charged right now. It is set for 35, so you can preset like how much air and how much air pressure you want. Okay. Then you just press the button again to start. That caught me off a little, little off guard. It's got a built-in flashlight. It also does flashing, SOS flashing off, on, SOS off. Okay. Uh, two, I have to read what this is. This says two and a half bar. I don't know what that means. 2.4 bar. 45. 8. I guess it's like. So standard, standardized maybe pressure at two and a half bar. And for motorcycle slash moped it's 2.4. Uh, this. Oh, uh, let's see what if the book shows anything on that. This one is a little bit more complicated than the other one. Let's see what these symbols mean. Uh, pressure unit. It's a PSI. 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 Bar. So what does bar mean then? Uh, no, I can't think of what it means off the top of my head. Okay, turning on and off. Okay, determine the right pressure. Motorcycles, scooters and street motorcycle tires, 1.8 to 3.0 uh, bar. Okay. Uh, scooter, electric scooter tires, you know, 700 cc road bike. Uh, balls, football, basketball, car tires. So they're using BAR for motorcycle and cars, which is interesting. Um, so I don't know what the like. BAR to PSI conversion. Okay, so a bar equals 14 and a half square inch. So I'm not a fan that they have it like that because most people, when they go to put air in the tires, it's PSI, like uh, inflate this tire to no more than it. Like, according to the little sticker on the inside of your driver door, it's 35 PSI for each tire. It doesn't say, you know, so if I was to do 35 PSI, it doesn't say 2.41 bar. I mean, unless it does, I, I don't know. Uh, so, like, I guess there'll be some conversion with that. But it's, it's, uh, how many bars should I fill up a motorcycle tire? Okay, so 40 PS, uh, so it says motorcycles at 2.4. Okay, let's see what that is in the conversion. So 2.4, that's at 34 pounds. Eh. I wish I could change that. I'll have to read and see if there's a possible way to change it, but yeah. Um, Portable air and it's a power bank. So there we go. You might, uh, you can always just do manual mode, put on bicycle or whatever, and just put it on manual mode. But it's it, it would be kind of nice to know for your vehicles, you can just have it preset. You can just like car, bike, so on and so forth. So you don't have to worry about changing and stuff like that. But hey, so like I said, I purposely killed the battery on the 
Corvette to try the jumper. So let's take a look at the jumper real quick. It's been about, I don't know, five minutes. It's at 93% in like five minutes. That is 13%. So by the time I get this all packed up and ready to go outside to jump the car, that should be fully charged and we can jump it then. So stay, stay tuned. I'm going to switch to the GoPro. We're going to go outside. We're going to jump start the Corvette. And we're going to go ahead and test this out too and just make sure the tires are filled up. Stuff like that. So again, like, subscribe, and keep watching.